Hello again, and welcome to another Disparate Worlds brief on Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. I am Mox, uh, one half of the dynamic duo that handles uh, comparing and contrasting Pantheon Rise of the Fallen and Ashes of Creation. So the news I have for you today, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, is that we have some exciting pre-alpha news on top of the stream which we are watching in the background here um that co carnage did this past saturday um monthly testing for the pre-alpha folks starting in january that is a huge step forward for pantheon um so we have not only this um public um a stream that was done by Ko that was really, really good. Um, he had a lot of fun. Uh, his cat even got in on the action, as you can see there. Uh, so Pantheon is feline approved, uh, as you guys can all see. Um, so the stream went really well. Um, the, the test itself was, was great. Another 24 hours in Terminus for folks. Um, and, uh, but, but the most exciting thing is that going forward, we're going to see Pan uh, Terminus uh, and Pantheon on a monthly basis. Now, I don't know if that means monthly streams by Co or just more frequent streams, or maybe at some point when it's ready, uh, the rest of us will be able to uh, share our uh, footage and experience and, and such in the world. But uh, that is fantastic. The other news that I had is that the uh, folks over at uh, MMOgames.com have voted Pantheon the best upcoming indie MMO for 2022. So that was a fantastic uh, announcement. So we can add award-winning to the title of Pantheon uh, when we describe it as well going forward. So there you have it, folks. A couple of tidbits of news. Um, if you want to get in on the um, on the pre-alpha testing, I will have a link in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.